Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a blaster box, Topps Chrome Baseball, and eight Topps Chrome Jumbo teams being given away here. That's coming up in the next video. Very big thanks to everyone here. Um, Chad, Patrick, Sean, David, Greg, Eric, and Ben going big on this one. Thanks everybody for getting in. Let's do the break first. All teams are in. Let's roll it, randomize it. One and a four, five times each. One, two, three, four, and five. One and a four, five times the teams. Two, three, four, and five. There's the first half of the list right there, and second half of the list right over here. No trades, let's just print and rip. People love this Impractical Joker show. Uh, let's watch Mission Impossible 1 on Sci-Fi. Mission Impossible has evolved quite a bit since this first one here. All right, final printout, thanks everybody. That jumbo case you see in the background is coming up in the next video. Joe saying, UGMs that aren't from very familiar with teams, but the teams aren't supposed to have the virus when it's time to do that. Well, not even UG, I, I feel like in this day and age, you know, maybe in the old days, yeah, you know, there's more reliance. Uh, you know, maybe there was one GM that, or experienced GMs didn't need as big of a team. Nowadays, man, I, I, th I think, you know, I think that it's, uh, there's a whole team of people. I know, well, you know, I guess you're right. I guess if you have a, a new GM, maybe new GMs, depending on, you know, how much, I guess it depends on how much power, like, the owner gives them to make deals. Some team, it depends on the team, I think. Some, some teams, I feel like owners are more involved in transactions. Some teams, they'll, they'll let the team do the work. Maybe it, does, maybe it would depend on experience level. I don't know how many first-time GMs or maybe even rookie GMs are allowed to make giant blockbuster moves, but... You know, if I'm an owner and I hire a GM, I would empower them to to make whatever deals they think is best. Blockbuster or not. And if you're a smart GM, experienced or not, maybe you would surround yourselves with with smart people too, but I suppose it just depends. I would think that you would be like, listen, you know, if you're a GM, I'm not gonna handcuff you in any way. New GM or it not. You make the moves. And if it doesn't work, you're fired. <laughs> nice Aaron Judge. This is going to be for the Yankees. This is uh, for Ben. The Ray Wave. Part of the buyback. There's a nice uh, Wyatt Langford base rookie card. All right, so not bad for a blaster box. Let's flip back over here. David, what's going on? Let's gather everybody's names, one through 30. And let's see who's gonna get teams in that jumbo break. It's gonna be the top eight they're gonna get in. Top eight after two and a four, six times. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six times, once again, it's, it's going to be the top eight getting in. So from nine through 30, sad times. But top eight, happy times. It's going to be Greg, Patrick, Ben, 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 Patrick, Ben. Benjamin did have uh, big, big odds on his side, and it worked out. It's a bold move, but it worked out this time. Congrats, Ben. Ben, you got the Cubs. Patrick with Toronto. Ben 
with the Mets, Astros, White Sox, Guardians, Patrick with Colorado, and Greg with Miami. We'll put uh, Blaster 5 next to your name so you know it's from this uh, 2024 Top Chrome Blaster Box break. And I'll see you in the next video uh, for the break itself, jazpyscasebreak.com.